What's going on everybody? I wanna talk about driving a Tesla Model 3 while it's cold outside. So I've seen questions online about limited regen, uh, range decrease, and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna talk about that all in this video here. I'm gonna give you tips and tricks to uh, help negate these problems as best as possible. And uh, I'm gonna give you as much information as possible about driving a Tesla in cold weather. So first off, regen. Uh, you will normally have a regen message that pops up here. You're gonna have little dots along this bar. The dots can go all the way up to the middle of the P and as you're driving, your battery will warm up and your regen will come back and the dots will disappear and they'll fade to the left. So uh, you wanna have a warm battery for regen to come back. Uh, there's not much you can do. If it's cold outside and your battery is not warm, you're gonna have limited regen and that's why you're gonna have this little pop-up that pops up over here. Uh, so, while you're driving in cold weather, think about it this way. Your car is trying to heat up the cabin where you're sitting. Uh, the car is also trying to heat up the battery. So energy is coming out from the battery. This is extra energy to heat up the heat up the battery itself and heat up your cabin. So that's going to leave your range deduction. I've seen as high as 10 to 30% online. Personally, I've experienced 5% as a decrease. Uh, the range decrease is not always displayed on the screen. So just keep that in mind. So right now it says 46% and I can change it to a kilometer distance or metric or uh, or meters, depending on whatever metric you use, but it's not always accurate. So give yourself like a 5% buffer as a just in case. You don't want to be stranded with uh, no energy in your car. Uh, the third problem with driving in cold weather with a Tesla is tire pressure. So if you're not switching to winter tires, you're gonna have this issue. Your tire pressure is going to drop. Uh, you're gonna have to add in more air to your tires. If your tires are not at the right pressure, you're gonna actually lose range. So make sure your tires are at a good pressure to maximize your range. Cause again, you're gonna lose range just because it's cold out and your battery's trying to heat up. Uh, so what are the tips and tricks to help negate some of these problems? Uh, there are two that I can give you. Uh, so the first one is uh, just before you're ready to leave, Go to your phone and turn up your heat to full blast. This is gonna heat up your battery, warm the cabin and defrost your windows. So it's pretty, pretty simple. And you, you can see it's on high. So here you go, we're gonna turn it on and it's literally on high. So it's literally warming up my car because my car would ideally be plugged in still before I'm ready to leave. My car is still getting energy and it's warming up the battery. So that's like the first uh, tip I can give you. Uh, the second tip I'm going to give you is change your charging schedule. So as you can see, mine is set to 7 p.m. Uh, this is the cheapest time that I pay to charge, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So ideally, I'm going to change my charging schedule to something like 3 a.m. Because between 3 a.m. and 7 a.m., I should still have enough time to get my battery charged. And my battery should be nice and warm uh, in the morning when I'm ready to leave because it'll just be finished charging. Uh, something to keep in mind, a cold battery does not charge as fast. So it's going to take longer to charge. Uh, if you follow my channel, uh, do subscribe if you haven't, but I do Tasker videos. So if you have Android, Tasker allows you to automate stuff. I've been working on a little Tasker uh, script that charges your battery uh, depending on the time and the charge level. Like I'm at 46%, so it'll wait later in the night to charge. Uh, so I'm working on this and I'm hoping to release that video sometime this week. I've been playing around with it, uh, but that will also help negate your problems with driving in the cold. So uh, this is just like a helpful, uh, informative video and hopefully you guys learned something. Do subscribe if you're interested in more Tesla videos. I got some good ones coming this week and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.